Hey guys, about to check out 15 minutes of footage from a new Assassin's Creed game. This is Odyssey. The last couple have been good, but a it's starting to feel like too much of a good thing, you know, like, but having said that, I'm quite willing to sit here and check out Assassin's Creed Odyssey, The Fate of Atlantis DLC. 15 minutes of gameplay footage. 3, 2, 1, boom. Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. It's good to have you back. How's Kiyoshi? You know him, resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by the Juhani Otzoberg himself. Guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Otso heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed Absurgo goon on the planet after us. Absurgo If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Atlantis, Where's I reckon. Victoria? You'll see. Alright then. Here we go. It's DLC. That's this good. This place is huge! Echo! These look like thrones of royalty. But who are the kings and queens? She's not playing an assassin. She's herself. She's a normal... her normal self. Is she gonna go back in time and see what happened? Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Who that? Victoria! What are you doing down here? Layla, it was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. <laughs> are you sure we can trust her? No. Don't worry. She's a friend. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Cassandra. You weren't in the plans. Can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Cassandra's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. Looks good. The animation is always nice in these games, though. As Most Cassandra of the time. Finds power to fuel both her and the staff. You too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Cassandra. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you her way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? I need more time. Why oh, she got Oculus? As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. Here we go. Now she's an assassin. The Keeper shares blood with those who came before and is connected to the Isu.
The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the Great Seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the Great Throne Room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. There is more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... What? <coughs> I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving mm. forward in the Underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alithia. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. Hmm. Charles with a keeper. Gotta go into the underworld. I don't know what this has to do with Atlantis. But I'm going along with it anyway. No going back now. I don't think I've actually played Odyssey. Alicia needs to work on that landing. Hey. <laughs> that was good. Wow, detail looks really nice. You don't belong here. Uh oh. Wow, cool. Wow, you gotta take on all these guys? Oh shit, <laughs> shit alright. Multiple threats accepted. What? Who is that? Ooh. At least these guys seem like easy pickings. Finish him. You've got to constantly move too, so don't get zapped by the power beam. Fighting mechanics are good, it's pretty standard. Take that. Ow, right in the lower back. That would hurt. Oh, this is just the beginning. Episode 1. So you got to download it in, in installments, like in episodes. Beautiful world. No one stands up to Persephone's guards. Let Persephone. alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. 
Ah, I'm Hermes. Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper. But you can call me Cassandra. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's coming to her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium. Resting place of heroes. When I was a girl, I'd dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and the staff talks... It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalyon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise. But we all have our secrets. Are all the questions. I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. I could talk to Ekati. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. <laughs> well, these missions, Maybe man. Maybe you should investigate the Kalyon's heritage. Persephone responds best to action. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of trouble against her. Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find cool. my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Kiere. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Go, enjoy them. The wings of Hermes. So, typical gameplay, you gotta go off and do all these things all over the map. Sometimes I find it very overwhelming. It looks really good though. Multiple quests accepted. Oh, so you could climb up and synchronize. What is she grabbing onto? <laughs>
Oh. Is there a cart with hay at the bottom? So she can do her leap of faith? Is there? There's always a cart of hay. Or a pile of leaves. Conveniently placed. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so I, I haven't picked up Odyssey yet. I was playing the one before, I can't remember what it was called. Let me look. It's really cool how um, Assassin's Creed Unity has got the blueprint of the Notre Dame Cathedral and they're going to use that in rebuilding the the structure, which is very cool. Um, Origins was the last the last one I played. Assassin's Creed Origins. And then not long after that, we had Odyssey come out and this is um, downloadable content for that, so it's an expansion. Uh, I really enjoyed Origins was fun, but for me, Odyssey was just a bit too much same same. So I haven't bothered picking it up yet. Should I? Is it worth it? It does look very same same. That's my main concern with most of the open world games these days. Is they're very similar to each other. So when we get something really extraordinary like Zelda: Breath of the Wild, where it kind of takes that genre but it just does something so unique with it, then yeah, I'm totally hooked. It's an amazing game. But most open world stuff these days, I am getting a little bit tired of it. But having said that, it does look beautiful and I guess there's some comfort in familiarity, like doing the same thing over and over again. Looks good. What do you recommend? Should I pick up Assassin's Creed Odyssey and give it a go and then download this as well? I don't know. It's been a while. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.